Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Spellbinders. Oh, I did some astral photography like. I used my handheld video camera and took my Schmidt Cassegram 8 inch out last night since it was nice and clear and caught this video of uh, Jupiter. This is Jupiter right here through the telescope. Uh, the moons that you'll see a little bit later in this will be uh, Castro, Europa, and Ganymede. All three of the moons. There's a fourth one, but it was further out than I could get it. But when I back this off, you're actually see all three of the moons near Jupiter. The two on one side is uh, the furthest one out where the two are on the same side is Castro and then there's Europa and then on the other side is Ganymede. So there's Castro, that's Europa and then on the other side, well, on the other side is Ganymede. But I wanted to see if I could actually videotape planets with a video camera. I'm trying to figure a way of mounting the camera onto the eyepiece so I don't have to handhold it and get all this shaking which I ended up getting on here. I think there's a a leaf or, or maybe a spider hanging off of, of a, a little branch which got in the way of my in front of my telescope. Just a little branch off a bush. right there but you can see the stripes on Jupiter there's the, the bands and actually uh, north is on this side south is on that side and there's uh, Ganymede right there and that's basically what I caught here this is kind of interesting because you get to see the moon and everything. Let me speed this up a little bit and get it back in there. See, as I zoomed in, it actually became clear it wasn't just a white blob. I actually used the zoom on the camera to zoom in, and it actually worked pretty good. I was able to actually get it to focus, automatic focus on there. This particular handheld camera is a little JVC. And it, it's like big as the palm of your hand type camera. And it works pretty good. It has high light resolution for lower actually for low light. And it works pretty good for doing planets in the moon. I used my laptop last night for the first time and a uh and one of these video cameras for your computer as as the uh, camera to take a video of the moon which worked pretty good in itself I was impressed and I think that's it for this one let me close this down and here's the moon let me get this in here so you can see it all together there's the video here of the moon I took this is using where I said it was a uh, creative basic camera that I took the base off of it so it didn't have the base on it anymore so it'd be easier to handle and I was, can you see it, it's real hard unless you have some way of mounting that onto your eyepiece which I use a 20 millimeter eyepiece for these worked pretty good actually uh, as you can see it, it's real hard you get it on there just right so it will pick up the moon this is pretty good here I said it was a creative camera and it seems to be working pretty good I was impressed with it and I 
you can see the moon's there. You can see uh, Tycho, Tycho, big crater on the moon. And of course, these are kind of sideways because my telescope has an equatorial mount, so it kind of turns it sideways. I mean, I could probably turn the camera right way, but I was more interesting getting it to line up with the eyepiece so you could see this. And that was done with my laptop and a uh, camera. Yeah, I'm having some troubles with it. Seems to... There we go. I'll move it ahead until I can just get the good, good pictures. Well, that's what the moon looked like last night. If the moon kind of looks oblong, I'm not really sure why. I think it's just the way I got it on there. It's actually rounder. See, as I go up this way, you can see it's actually round. It's just how I had to hold the camera on the eyepiece. And that's what it looks like last night. So I'm going to try to improve my connection with the camera to the eyepiece. Come up with something I can use. Besides, this is literally, I guess, this is literally tape it on there with a piece of duct tape. Make a strip and put it on there so it will hold it on there. That way I don't have any shakes or anything. It'll just be a steady pictures. Yeah, I see it. I kept losing. And I adjusted all the uh, brightness down. I took it off auto. Auto wasn't working too good. It was bleaching out the moon with the glare. And I even had the moon filter on there. That's you know, the polar ice filter. And it was really too bright. The camera was pretty sensitive, I guess. And so I had to turn everything down on the brightness and the exposure so I could get this view of the moon. That's just about it. Just about the end of this video I made. I had the uh, clock drive running. That was me adjusting it by speeding it up. I think I was using the hand controls, dis disengaging the uh, right ascension drive and adjusting it, getting it in the center and then turning it back on. So it holds the moon there so it doesn't drift off the picture or out of the eyepiece. Well, that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That's some of my experience doing some astral photography or astral CCD type videoing. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day and a pleasant Sunday. Good day.